All right, welcome back, everybody. I'd like to introduce you to GVST. It's a VST. Um, it's a it's a tuner. I'm gonna shoot you a um a link in the comment box below. But let's just go ahead and get started. What I want to do is I want to come here. I'm working with 64 bits. If you're working with 32 bits, just be aware. Um, just click download. Okay. And I've downloaded this. All right, so the next thing I want to do is I want to come to my folder for my desktop. <clears throat> Create a new folder, and I want to call it GTune, right? All right, so if we look over here on my desktop, I've got a folder, it's called GTune, great. So now I'm gonna open up LMMS. I'm gonna come over to LMMS and number one, let me come here to my FX mixer where I can add an effect or a VST. I'm gonna, op I'm gonna click add an effect and I'm gonna come down to here. And if you notice gate, giant flange, GLAME, blah, blah, blah. And I don't see G-Tune, all right? But I want G-Tune. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and cancel this. I'm gonna come up to edit, settings, right? And then I'm gonna come to this folder here, which is your directories. And I'm gonna go to VST plugin directory, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this and I'm going to click my plugins right because I've created actually let me go ahead and click uh, G tune and then I'm going to select that folder okay now it's going to say please note that most changes won't take effect until you restart LMMS okay great let me minute okay let me minimize this right now now I'm gonna go to my File Explorer, go to my G-Tune, which I've just downloaded. We've just downloaded that together. I'm gonna click Copy. I'm gonna come to my G-Tune folder, open that up, the one that I've just created. Right click, click Paste, okay. Right click, G-Tune, um, Extract All. Extract, okay, open this up. And what I want here is my .dll, that is my actual um, VST. This right here is just taking up space. I'm gonna get rid of that, I don't need it. <clears throat> now what I've done is I have put a lot of my plugins over here. You see all these DLLs here, dll.dll, .dll. all right. I'm also gonna take my G-Tune and put that DLL in my plugins, okay? So let me, I'm gonna copy this. And I'm gonna paste it into my plugins. All right. Now let's go back to LMMS. Let's X out of LMMS. I'm going to go back into LMMS because remember, you have to X out of it before you actually make any changes, before you actually add that. So now I'm going to come over here to my effects chain again, add effect, and I'm going to search for my G-Tuner G here. And we've got G-Tune right here. <clears throat> now, the cool thing about this is G-Tune lets you know what your instrumentation is. So, number one, let's open up our triple oscillator um, piano roll. And I'm going to assign A over here. You see this A note? And you see, if you look over at the G-Tuner, it says A, which means that I'm and the A note, which is cool. So let's play it. Great, so I know that that note is a, is a real A note. Now let me come to my samples and let me go to my instruments 
and let me go to my say piano. Okay, it says that that piano is in C, but we all know that when we open up this, that white box over here says that this piano is playing the A note, and G tune says it's playing a C note. So something's going to be wrong. Either G tune's wrong, or the D A W is not correct. And the D A W is not correct in this case. This piano is not playing an A note even when I hit it on an A note. So let me show you. Let me hit an A note, another A note, another A note. And we'll just play it on a loop right now. Here's how we rectify this. How we make this right <clears throat> is to open up your piano. I'm gonna click stay on top up here, top left. You come to your piano. Um, let's play the note. And we take this little white box here and we augment it. We change its pitch until we hit that A note, okay? Great. So we've moved this pitch over here. So now this is an A note. Fresh out the box, if you come out of your samples or you come out of your instruments, it's not going to be an A note. It's going to be a C note. And G tune helps you with that because if you just assume that your notes are in the correct pitch, when you get to writing your songs, they're going to sound like ass nuggets. So this is how we do that. Let's play. So now what you do is you augment your pitch and you just take it over to where it's going to sound like uh, the note that you're looking for. All right. Um, I hope this makes your life a little bit easier. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.